Hey guys, let's talk about nails, bird nails, and how to cut your bird's nails right at home. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So before you begin cutting, you are going to need a couple of things handy to get started, and of course, you are going to need to know a couple of things as well. You're going to need nail clippers designed to trim your bird's nails. Now you don't want to use regular nail clippers because those are made to clip flat nails like ours. Still Styptic powder or cornstarch nearby to stop the bleeding in case you accidentally cut too much off. A person to help hold your bird while you cut. Also, a towel is optional, but I definitely suggest using it if your bird doesn't like getting their nails cut. It helps to keep them calm and also helps protect your fingers from getting bit. And some treats for after they've endured getting a pedicure and for doing a really great job. So once you have all of these things nearby, the first step in learning how to clip your bird's nails is to identify where you need to cut. There are two ways to tell where to cut your bird's nails. Now the first way is to look for where the blood supply in their nails end or where the quick ends. If your bird has white nails, you'll be able to see the quick if you hold your bird's nail up to a light. You should be able to see it pretty easily. The quick is the red or pink area that you see in your bird's nails. Then you want to cut about a millimeter away from the quick. That way you don't cut too much off and make your bird bleed. The second way is to look at your bird's nails when their feet are on a flat surface. And this is a good way to know how to cut darker nails. You want to cut your bird's nail so that when they are on a flat surface, all of their toes are flat against the surface and the nail isn't causing your bird's toes to curl. You want to imagine a line that starts from the very bottom of your bird's toes and goes straight across through your bird's nail at about a millimeter and that is where you would need to cut. When you're using this method, you always want to cut a little at a time since you can't see where the quick ends. That way you don't end up cutting too much off. And before you actually start clipping your bird's nails, you're going to need to know how to hold your birds during this process so that they are properly restrained. This reduces the chances of your birds accidentally injuring themselves if they try to escape from your grasp and preventing you from holding them too tightly and either suffocating them or breaking really fragile bones. Learning how to restrain your bird will also help you examine your bird if they have accidentally injured a blood feather or get caught in something. It's also for emergencies where you would need to get a hold of your birds quickly and to hold smaller birds like green cheeks. Holding them from the back, you want to place your index finger on their heads and at the same time, your thumb and middle finger should be placed right below their cheeks so that you're holding their head in place and then the rest of your fingers and palm should hold their wings against their body. You should have a firm grasp where they can't escape and not too tight where they won't be able to breathe. You can also do this using a towel to protect your fingers from getting bit and you can also lightly drape the towel over their head to keep them relaxed. After you get an idea of where to cut your bird's nails and how to hold your birds properly, you can now start cutting. Have someone restrain your bird while you clip your bird's nails. This is the easiest and fastest way of clipping your bird's nails. And if you know that your birds get stressed from getting their nails clipped, you definitely don't want to stress them out even more. So you want to move as fast and as carefully as you can. If this is your first time clipping your bird's nails, you should move at your own pace and please be careful not to cut too much off. If you're unsure if you're going to cut too much off, it's always better to cut a little less than cut way too much and make your bird bleed. You also want to ask the person holding your bird to also place a finger on the foot that isn't being cut. That way it doesn't get in the way. If your bird curls their toes while you are cutting, what I like to do is gently push their feet against their body and that will help to release the curl and then you can start cutting again. And if you do accidentally cut too much and your bird does start to bleed, you don't need to panic. Just grab your styptic powder or cornstarch and dip it or place it onto your bird's nail and then apply slight pressure for a good few seconds to help stop the bleeding. Now holding your bird while you cut their nails isn't the only way to make sure your bird's nails get trimmed. It's definitely the fastest way but you can of course also work on training your bird to get used to having their nails cut but of course with any training it will take lots of patience and consistency to get your birds to trust you with having their feet touched and having an object touch their nails but it is possible. Another way of trimming your bird's nails is by using a really high quality nail file in place of a nail clipper. Now, I don't recommend using sand perches to keep your bird's nails in shape because the rough sandy texture of those perches are hard and uncomfortable on your bird's feet and they're also really hard to clean. Like this video if you found it helpful and comment down below if you cut your bird's nails or go to the vet to get them done. Also guys, thank you so so much for over 1,000
1,000 subscribers. I really can't believe it and thank you so, so much for supporting my channel. It really means a lot to me. I am working on a giveaway, so I'll definitely let you guys know the full details when I have them. Also, a couple of you guys have asked me about what it's like having birds and a dog in the same house, so stay tuned for that video next week. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!